Make no mistake, I love Chromebooks, but man, is printing on a Chromebook? That's frustrating. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I connected my Cloud Ready Brother printer so that I can print on any Chromebook. Some things to keep in mind are that the Google Cloud Print, that is where you will manage your printer. Here you can see the print jobs and the printers associated with your Google account. Another thing to keep in mind, your printer has to be designated as Cloud Ready. For a link of a list of Cloud Ready printers, please see the description of the video. If your printer is not listed in this list, it's not Cloud Ready. So here's some things you're going to need. Obviously, your Chromebook or a Windows or Mac computer that has Google Chrome installed. Another thing you're going to need, a Cloud Ready printer that's on the same Wi-Fi network as your Chromebook. So first, we're going to need to connect the Cloud Ready printer to our wireless network. And we're going to achieve this through the LCD screen and buttons on the printer itself. We're going to go into the menu and we're going to select OK. We're going to scroll to uh, Network. Press OK. We're going to go to uh, this one, Wireless LAN. Press OK. Let's go to Setup Wizard. Press OK. It's going to start searching for the SSIDs near the machine. Oh, okay. So look, this is my router. Press OK. And then I'm going to enter my network key. Okay, so it's going to go toggle through the numbers first and then it's going to go through the alphabet. So I've just entered my password. Now it's asking me to apply the settings. And I'm going to select yes, which is the up. All right, so now it's connected. So the next thing we need to figure out is what is the IP address of this printer? And you can go to, um, go to the menu, it's ready, so let's select OK. Machine information, OK. And it says print settings, and when you select OK, it's going to print you a page. So from this printout, the two important things to note are the IP gateway, and then you also want to know, of course, your IP address. That was the whole purpose. So if you don't want to go through the machine settings to find your IP address of the machine, you can always just go to your um, your gateway. So this is my router, mm -mm, like devices. So let's find the, the network map. Okay. So here's the printer. <laughs> uh, device information. And there's our IP address right there. Let's go ahead and uh, go into our Google Cloud Print. So I'm just gonna, you know, type this in Google Cloud Print. Okay, I went into my account here. All right, so let's go to printers. This is just to show you that I don't have my printer set up just yet. So now let's go into the IP address of the printer, which is uh, 105. Okay, so when you first log into your um, your printer, what you'll notice is that you're only going to have the general tab, and you'll see a little box up here that has a password to enter. So I, I went on the web and I searched, and this is the default password. So I typed it in, and boom, it opened up more menus. So now let's go over to network. Let's go to protocol, and then um, here's cloud, cloud print. We're going to go to advanced options. Or settings and then let's go ahead and uh, register you can change the device name right here this is just me I'm gonna put in August of uh, 2018 okay it says click Google and a registration page will show up clicked it to finish registration of your printer with Google Cloud Print click below Okay, thanks. Ready to go. Manage your printers. I guess it's just going to take me directly to the Google Cloud Print menu. Let's go to printers. There it is. It says that it's currently offline, which it should be online. So let me just refresh this again. Ah, there it is. So boom, we are ready to print. So let's do a little test print. All right, so here we have this uh, article called Guide to Happiness. Let's go up here and click print. Okay, so in the destination, it's still showing like the old printer that I had. 
uh, and it was this was the um, the name of it. Make sure you you have selected the appropriate printer, and I dated mine August 2018. Okay, it's ready to print. Two sheets of paper. I hear it. I hear something. Oh 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 oh! There it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. There it is, guide to happiness. So once you've got it connected, you know it prints, you can actually share it. There's a green button here, you select share, and you type in, you know, email addresses of people. All right, I hope this was helpful to you guys, and um, print on, people. Peace out. All right.